Welcome back to another video. I've got the Xiaomi 10,000 mAh Power Bank 3 in for testing and review. And this was sent in via Banggood. Quick look over the box, you'll see the anti counterfeit scratch panel at the top. And this will give you an idea of the specifications. A lot of it is in Chinese, but I have zoomed in with a picture. And we can see on the right hand side that also gives us the date of manufacture, which is the first month of this year. As most of the user guide is in Chinese, I can't really give you any more information from this, but we will be doing some tests later on to check the power bank. As far as the fit and finish, you have an anodized aluminium exterior that's heat treated and toughened, so it should stand a bit of abuse. Peeling off the sticker from the front, you'll see that we have the power button and test button as well as the ports, and I'm going to explain the ports in detail here. USB ports are put on the screen, all the details and charging speeds. We have the Type A output, the Type C input and output, and the micro USB is an input only. So you have a choice of two outputs and a choice of two inputs with this power bank, and that's an improvement over the original. A couple of photos I took outside just so you can see the markings a bit clearer. It's not that easy to see inside because of the way that they've um, engraved it into the case. You will know a few other things which we'll talk about in a second. Onto the cable that you get included, 36 centimeters, and this is a Type A to a micro USB, but they give you an adapter which is attached to it to a Type C. So that's useful for charging the power bank and also for other devices. So really nothing to complain about as far as the fit and finish with this. The Xiaomi power banks are generally quite sturdy. It is a bit on the smooth side though. You might want to look at a silicon cover if you have a habit of dropping them. The button on this is really just to check the power status. You have the four LED indicators. What you can also do is activate the low charge mode. And I'll show you that in a second. So a quick double press on that and you'll see that the LED indicators move up, which is different from when you normally press it to check or when it's charging. So that tells you you're in the low power mode. This mode works for two hours and that's used for devices which have very small cell capacity such as this small light here or mp3 player bluetooth headphones that sort of thing is the weight in metric and it comes in at 247 grams and i'll also convert that to imperial for you if you prefer to use that so a fair bit lighter than the 20,000 milliamp hour version and i've also put the dimensions on screen for you as well to start off with i'm going to discharge the power bank fully it does come with a slight charge in it and then we're going to run some tests to see how much capacity this battery has and it has a total of 10,042 milliamp hours and it took me just over six hours to charge that on a two amp five volt and it's a much quicker three hours 38 minutes on the nine volt quick charge remember these figures are just estimations but it should give you an idea how long it takes to charge it didn't see any difference between using the type c or the micro usb for the input even with quick charge pretty much the same speed. You don't need to press the button to start charging, it will automatically do that or stop itself and that includes when it's being charged. Moving on to the discharge capacity test, I used normal devices for this, phones, mp3 player, a torch, a charger and the result I got was 6861 milliamp hours out of the battery. Also take into account this is the best result you're going to get, I've just used a single port for charging, that rate will drop a little bit if you are using quick charge or two ports at the same time. So that pretty much wraps up my test on the Xiaomi power bank. Hope you found that useful. I like to keep these tests nice and short so you can see very clearly the results that you should get from the power bank. Good conversion rate on this, about as good as you're gonna get for a power bank. If you've got any questions on this, do drop a comment below and thanks very much for watching.